Welcome back everybody to another edition of the High School Blitz brought to thee by the Austin American Statesman and as always I'm Rick Cantu joined by TJ and Thomas uh, let's look back a little bit this exciting weekend of games that we just finished yeah. first of all who do you give a game ball to? You know, I'm looking at defense. Often we were the offensive player uh -huh. because of the stats and everybody sees it. But defensively, Hendrickson linebacker Clifton Stiles had double-digit tackles in, a, in the Hawks' 45 nothing win over Leander. And he had a lot of help from his uh, linebacker mates. Blake Kemp, Trey Diaz, they also had double-digit tackles. Look, they held Leander to 120 yards rushing and not a single pass completion. So give it up for the defense of Hendrickson. Leander, you, Leander usually lights it up too, don't they? Well, Maybe not this year. You know. I'm going to give a game ball to Ryan O'Keefe, uh, wide receiver, running back. Actually, more of a running back than wide receiver, but he catches a lot of passes. Playing, uh, playing quarterback a lot for the and he, he does all. He yeah. does everything. Yeah. He even, I saw him throw a pass the other day from, from Round Rock. Got him for 129 yards receiving, 111 yards rushing, three touchdowns. 51-42, they beat Westwood. So, uh, Mr. O'Keefe, game ball for you. That's Zeke Elliott numbers. I know. I like Zeke. Uh, what did you learn, Thomas, from this past weekend? Hey, I learned Cedar Creek coach John Edwards is doing something right out there in Bastrop County. Cedar Creek is the fairly new school in Bastrop School District. I believe this is their eighth year varsity competition. Look, they've only won more than one game once in their existence as varsity program. What happened Friday? They beat big boy Brenham 31-26. And they did it old school. They won in the trenches. They ran the ball. They stopped the run. So credit to Cedar Creek. And Brenham was favored to win that district. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Brenham's a heavy favorite to win that district. But I think Cedar Creek is going to have something to say about that. If I learned anything, it's that Hayes is for real. Hayes is back. They're 4-0. They haven't had a winning year since 2013. 35-28, that was a, a great football game. But they beat Bowie. Yep. Came down to the last play of the game. The defense held them. And so... Hayes is back. Um, Thomas, tell me somebody, tell me a team that's sort of gone under the radar, that's had a good season that we haven't talked a lot about. Well, I'm going to talk about a team that's rarely under the radar in our neck of the woods. That's Cedar Park. Okay. What happened is they started 0-2, and, and everybody kind of wrote them off. They say, well, what's wrong with Cedar Park? Their line's not what they used to be. They don't have the talent, yada, yada, yada. You know what? Now they're 3-2. and two. They've won three in a row. They've been playing all their non-district games for 6A squads. They opened their 5A district this past weekend, beat a good Rouse team 38-7, dominated defensively. The Black Rain defense is back. And they got this scrappy little quarterback named Ryder Hernandez, who's a sophomore. And he's really taken uh, control of the reins of that offense. So look for Cedar Park to get back to where they usually are. They had a tough schedule. They did. I'm going to go with Thorndale. Um, they're only 3-0. and They had a lightning game you know, called off. I think they had a, a bye week, too. But 3-0, and they've outscored their opponents 110-23. to Now, this is a team that has had playoff success in the past, but not, not as much lately. Yeah. But Thorndale, 3-0, and you got to give it to the uh, little 2A school down, down up north. That's right. That's right. Uh, favorite game this year to this point? You know, I love defense, but man, how can I not say the Huddle-Liberty Hill non-district game? I was at Huddle's number one in our 5A poll, Liberty Hill's number one in our 4A poll. They've been there all year. Huddle won 52-51 in overtime. Okay, we know about Chase Griffin, the UCLA pledge quarterback for Huddle, threw for 478 yards, seven touchdowns. And we know about Liberty Hill's slot T attack, running back Kyle Harrison, 294 yards and five touchdowns. So what did the game come down to? A defensive stop on a two-point conversion by Liberty Hill. Outstanding game. If I had a favorite game, uh, it goes actually back to August. Uh, McCallum, Taco Shack Bowl. McCallum beats Anderson, a game Anderson had right here. Mm -hmm. You know, they were up by two touchdowns, you know, in the latter part of the game. McCallum came back with a couple touchdowns late, 21 to 20, and uh, in a series that you never know who's going to win that game. But uh, after that game, I'll give Anderson credit. I thought that they were going to be deflated. They came back and won a couple games. So okay. hand it to Anderson for making a comeback. And there's something always special about that traditional 
opener in Central Texas, the Taco Shack Bowl at House Park. And House Park was packed that night. That'll do it for this edition of the High School Blitz, brought to you by the Austin American Statesman. I said thank you to TJ again. I'm Rick Cantu, and uh, we'll see you next time. But until then, as we like to say in the business, we hope your favorite team wins.